Over the past 17 years, YouTube has had more controversies than Shane Dawson. Although in recent days, YouTube's latest controversy has brought forth allegations of racism and possible favoritism. You need to stop everything. Bringing forth the questions of whether or not it is easier for some creators based on restrictions of racial divide. This time, I can no longer let it slide. This is the situation. August 18th, I uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted because the following video I did, I let you guys know it got age restricted. YouTube didn't tell me why. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing the Mortuary Assistant and only my video seemed to be age restricted. And I looked for like an hour, two hours. I was scrolling all different types of people's video no one else's was age restricted. Of course, this happens to be a graphic horror game with scenes of undead and gore. However, as previously said, other large creators such as Markiplier has had the exact same footage within their videos and not had the measures taken against them. After Corey's careful consideration, as well as previous events from other videos and restrictions that he's had in the past, this struck a chord, proving quite sus. After Corey's careful observations from other videos, as well as the observation of events from other YouTubers that have been featuring the exact same footage, other content creators who have also shown similar scenes from the actual game, such as Markiplier with over 33 million subscribers, have not had the exact same treatment, but far from it. You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. Following direct messages between the two as well as emails with the YouTube policy team, they viewed Markiplier's video in order to assure and reaffirm Corey's actual video. They used Markiplier's video to verify the fact that Corey Kenshin's video was not actually that bad. Eventually just doubling down and restricting both of them after the direct messages and the connection between the two was led into the public with the YouTube policy team. Once again though, not actually restricting any of the other content creators that have used this exact same game, The Mortuary Assistant, on YouTube. If this had all been done in the first place, then there would not be a problem. So another day, another two days go by, and what do you know? They re-age restricted the video. <laughs> they re-age restricted the video. I say no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now, and now his video is age restricted. They got caught with their pants down. They got called out and then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, 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 okay. We see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. We need to take some steps back. We need to just age restrict them both and be done with it. You thought that I wasn't gonna like talk about this, make a video about it. Evidence begins to unfold as we find a pattern between uploads, trending videos, and just a generalized trend from when he returns from hiatus, as well as the relation to unjust bans from past videos on his channel when doing so. Corey is no stranger to taking breaks on his channels. He's been known to take up to two months or more from uploading videos on his YouTube channel, which is less time since the last time you've been outside. And these are flagged for violating community guidelines without reason or hope for appeal. The motives behind the reviewing team are more questionable than my mother's parenting. After doing some research myself, I found little or nothing to discern who reviews the videos and who is exactly on the policy team. Kenshin has said that he does not like pointing fingers and he welcomes YouTube to prove them wrong. Now, has YouTube actually said anything about the subject? No. They've said absolutely nothing. This in itself is absurd given the fact that he has a fan base of 14 million subscribers. That's a lot of fucking people. <laughs> of course, it's to be expected that the mysterious shadow people and skinwalkers that hide behind YouTube's policy team, that word in itself, they have their own biases, views, opinions, and stuff like that. We don't know. We have no idea who these people are, but it's to be expected, right? But this is also a $180 billion company. <laughs> No, that's a lot of damage! A private company in which thousands and thousands of people need to be paid based on them on the audience being entertained. Some people who are on the YouTube policy team may find that other certain creators, their content is not exactly suitable for younger viewers. But the thing is, with Corey Kenshin, he censors even swear words within video games. He's the most child-friendly you can get. Corey goes on to talk about these things are just allegations, and he has not brought this up in the past, as he does not want his channel to be centered around and being built around race and discriminatory factors. In the past, YouTube has also been accused and caught on camera of CEO Susan Wojcicki, saying to rapper and songwriter Juice World on a No Jumper vlog, promising to boost subscriber counts for him because he deserves much more on YouTube. This proves the theory that artificial boosts and growth are possible. Of course, Juice World himself was also African American, but then we're brought the question of favoritism to people such as him, Markiplier, and others. Oh, gee, you know how we spoke about getting 
your subscribers out, she's the big boss of it all. Oh, so yeah. this is the real, this is the whole thing. I know, how can we help you? We're, you're so talented. We gotta get your subscriber numbers. Way up. We're gonna make it happen, all right? He goes through the effort of even censoring the smallest of things within a video game, and then people such as Penguin Zero, or even myself, like to enjoy and indulge in the vulgarity of jokes that can be found available on the internet. To add salt to the wound, after the first attempt of trying to upload his call-up video towards YouTube, Corey's video was actually blocked, and the same thing goes with a channel called ASMR Rich. Now, I'm not exactly too sure as to what ASMR Rich has against YouTube, but when he did make the video, even furthering on Corey's claims calling out YouTube, to. That was also blocked the first time and I'll show a screenshot right here of which they've tried to keep the entire situation Under wraps, but that's not exactly working for them now Is it and at the end of the day the decision lies with you guys the viewer all of these claims were made on YouTube For furthering conversation to figure out the root of all this entire problem Leave a comment down below on what you think like subscribe have a wonderful day have a wonderful night I've been Kadazaki and you've watched my shit commentary